Okay, so it's time to respond to another message to anti-feminists uh, video. I've had this one for a bit. I was going to do this one first and then SJW101. But then I had to do other videos, so this one fell to the wayside. It's a short video. It's one minute long. Although I think one minute is enough. Perhaps if it went a little bit above like two minutes, I, I probably wouldn't have done it. But I'm only joking people, this is a response to Kazoon Fowler, whose message isn't very good and exactly like SGW101's, you can say the exact same things to feminists. So, what we're waiting for, take it away. Whether a trait is primarily biological or primarily social, looking at those things should not be painful and should not trigger you. Name me one anti-feminist. Show me examples of these anti-feminists who are triggered by traits that are either uh, social constructs or biological. Please, tell me who these are, because this is not a trait that I see anti-feminists triggered by. I see feminists triggered by this, because they're the ones who go around talking about gender and biological sex being social constructs, talking about uh, certain traits being social constructs, and... And to be honest, anti-feminists, unless they happen to be, say, uh, those philosophical extremist MGTOWs who do tend to go down that route as well, they don't seem to talk about it that much, and they don't seem to be triggered by it either. So, again, you're going to have to tell me, who are these people? When it's a trait, <laughs> funnily enough, that the opposite side always shows. When you start throwing out insults to feminists for almost no reason... Come! Sorry. Insults for no reason? Really? Are you going to provide examples for that? Because so far in these responses to anti-feminists, it tends to be a whole lot of assertions and uh, accusations without any evidence. So, please, Kizun, tell me, why would an anti-feminist throw an insult at a feminist for no reason, considering that these feminists that we always respond to are those bigoted people and will constantly say bad things about uh, men, women who aren't feminists, people in general who aren't feminists, and if they're TERFs, they don't like trans people, and they're swerfs, they don't like sex workers. So please, I, I when every time these people have insults thrown at them, is that for no reason? Or is that for a reason? Usually it is for a reason. I haven't seen an anti-feminist insults someone for no reason other than my example back then, which was uh, comedic kizum. Don't, don't get triggered, it's just a trait of mine. You are being no different than the feminists who you claim are batshit crazy. Insulting someone for no real reason other than to troll them does not make you as bad as a batshit crazy feminist who hates men and people who are not in their movement and thinks that women automatically should be feminists because they're women and they believe in, in what is basically a sky demon or some Illuminati type thing called the patriarchy. The two are not the same, that's a false equivalent. If anything, you should say that we are as bad if we do do these things as the trolls that we claim are the ones doing it. Surely, right? Or maybe we're as bad as the feminist fans or feminists who will insult us on our videos, not the batshit crazy ones, because insulting someone for no reason, because you're not giving me a reason, is not the same as insulting someone because of their gender, because of their, their race, because of anything, their ideology. I mean, if you're making a roasting video, okay, fine. But if you're actually trying to argue their points, don't mix in tons of insults and then expect them to listen. Well, their entire rhetoric is insulting to men and to women in general. Uh, toxic masculinity, misogynists, internalised misogyny, patriarchy, tools of oppression, all these different words that you can think of, all these names they have for everyone. It's Their entire rhetoric is hateful. So can you not at least sympathise with an anti-feminist, and I I do this sometimes, of insulting them, because why not? They, they, if, I know two wrongs don't make a right, but if it, it makes a good point, if it makes a good laugh, we can do that. And, and by the way, Kazoo, they don't talk to us anyway. 
We could not insult them for six months, a year, from now on, and they will not talk to us. Because they know the moment they step out of those echo chambers, they lose the debate because they've got nothing. They can't back their arguments up. That's why. They won't talk to us anyway. We're mostly blocked on block bots on Twitter and YouTube, so your arguments mute at that point. You wouldn't listen if a feminist was throwing out all these insults towards guys. Well, considering, like I said before, most of their rhetoric, if not all of it, is insulting towards men and to women, uh, I would listen to it because I do that on a, on a regular basis. That's my job on YouTube at the moment. And I would then refute it with facts and logic because if it's they don't like it when someone refutes them after they've slung all this shit at them. And besides, we all know that this hateful rhetoric that they'll spin on certain days of the year, like International Men's Day and Father's Day, is just to rile us up and say, look, there's a problem. I think you're wrong, because a lot of uh, anti-feminists are shit posters on Twitter and would probably be up for the fight. I don't think you know us very well. So why do the opposite? Because sometimes it's the uh, video maker's individual style to insult people for fun and games as well as argumentation. And there's something wrong with that. We roast people in argument. You can do that. You can't just roast and that's it and then argue and that's it. To me, there's a middle ground where the two meet. And it's kind of called comedy in a way, isn't it? But never mind the fact that we're not actually doing the opposite of what they're doing. See, on one hand, we're arguing for true equality, and on the other hand, they're just being bigots and spewing bigoted rhetoric. So, again, your point is invalid. If you see an anti-feminist shoving forth truly hateful, nasty stuff, call that shit out. I called Teal Deer out. Not because he was being hateful, he was just being stupid and putting forth logical fallacies in an argument. I've done that. And I have a video right now that I might respond to eventually, but I need to wait for the dust to settle from a ridiculous thing that happened recently. But uh, apart from that, although that video itself wasn't hateful either, it was full of tinfoil hattery, and I'm going to respond to that. So I will call out my own side. Most feminists do not call out their own side. They just allow the, this so-called small minority of radical feminists to run the movement, to spew their bollocks. And when we call them out, they get all defensive for some reason. There's only a few of them that actually do. So, for example, Camille Paglia and Christina Hoff Summers, they, they're the go-to examples because, to be honest, they're one of the only few who actually do. So, you know, don't tell us to call out our own side when we do and just allow the feminists to just, you know, do what they want. You know, they don't need to call anyone out. What? There's nothing to call out. You need to call that shit out. We do call them out though. We expect the feminists to call out the feminists who are being misandrous. Any anti-feminist that has been doing this for a while now knows not to expect mainstream feminists to do so. If anything, they'll kind of, at a push, say, oh, they're nothing to do with me, but they don't actually call out what they're saying. We don't expect them to. So why are you expecting us to? I don't have that expectations with feminists at all. I have no expectations of them to call each other out unless they're bickering amongst each other. That's the only time you'll ever see it. But ne never when we ask them to, so I don't expect that. You have to be naive or new to the game to expect that, Kazoo, and you know that. You know better. So we need to call out when we see people being misogynistic. And I have done, on social media. I was going to respond to Red Pill Philosophy's stupid Star Wars videos, but at the end of the day, the topic passed. But who knows, maybe I'll do it for number eight when that comes out. I've seen Spinosaurus Kin, I've seen, hell, even Teal Deer, and a few others respond to misogynist MGTOWs. Although, to be fair, you don't need to be an anti-feminist to be a MGTOW, but a lot of them are. And those guys in particular were. So, at the end of the day, 
I don't know what you're complaining about. We do call out misogyny. And don't go redefining the word misogynistic to your own purposes in the same way that feminists like to redefine words like sexism so it can only apply to women. Who has been redefining the word misogyny? What anti-feminist has done? It literally means hatred of women. You can't redefine that. Who's redefined this? Give me an example. Come on, you've, you've only got a one minute video. You could at least give me one minute of examples. Like who? Who is redefining the word misogyny on our side? I've seen nobody do that. Unless I, I don't travel in the same circles as some people because it is a big community full of different political persuasions and personalities and viewpoints. So again, who? Who is redefining that word? Again, you're right, feminists do redefine the word sexism uh, to mean women only, but again, we don't redefine the word misogyny. Okay, don't do that shit. Don't play that game. Who has done that shit? I don't do that shit. None of the people I follow do that shit. Apparently people you follow do that shit, unless you're just making it up. Again, provide examples or don't make the argument at all. This is just an assertion, Kazoo. And that's the end of the video, people, for some reason. He kind of ended it mid-sentence, or at least mid-point. Again, that's two terrible anti-feminist message things. So, yeah, it seems like they can't really do anything to actually point out to us that we're doing wrong without projecting. So, see you later, people. Nothing to see here. Move along. <laughs>